What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a part one let's play of the game Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. Ignore that. That's just the previous load screen. So, uh, Fire Emblem Fates Revelation, welcome to it. Shoutouts to Nintendo of America for hooking me up with this awesome special collector's edition. As a way of saying thanks to Nintendo and all of you guys who are supporting the series by smashing that like button and commenting, you guys are all entered to win this awesome thing. Details, TBA, to be announced. So let's do it. Now, in case you guys have not watched the previous episodes, you have to watch the intro playlist. There's about six episodes where you go through and you find out what's going on with the story, who's Team Hoshido, who's Team Noor, and who are all these people, and why are they fighting over the main character? And by playing through and watching those, now you're going to have to make a decision. Which path are you going to take? So, right, here we go. Revelation is the path that is going to be DLC for all of you guys that don't have the collector's edition. It will be out in March, the middle of March, for an estimated retail of $19.99. So if you have Birthright, or if you have Conquest, the standalone versions, you can purchase it for under 20 bucks, which is gonna be awesome. So I'm pretty pumped up. This is an unreleased game. So all of you guys are getting a chance to see it first here. So thank you so much for coming and let's do this. So Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. You guys have been on the Fire Emblem Fates hype train, right? You guys have seen all my uploads for it. We're going through all three paths, and this is the last path. So here we go. Um, as you guys can see, I've got my Birthright file, I've got my uh, Conquest file, and now I've got my Revelation file. So here we go, chapter six, the path is yours. Now we have to make a choice. We have to, cho we have to choose. This is probably like the fourth time I've actually read this intro dialogue. So those of you guys who have seen it, you guys can probably read along with me. So here we go. We're on the battlefield where Team Hoshido and Team Nor are meeting up. And now they're going to be fighting for me. Me, the main character, or all of you guys. Anyway, they're saying, okay, well, Abdallah, you're alive. They haven't harmed you, have they? Xander, I'm fine. But why are you invading Hoshido? Let us begin. Father says it's time to show our true strength. Join us and we'll end this quickly. If we conquer Hoshido here and now, we can avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Xander, I, I need a minute. Stay alert. Be careful, Abdallah. That man is a Norian commander. Ryoma. Oh. Abdallah, I was so worried about you. Don't ever wander away from me again. You have the devil's I'm glad life. you're okay, Abdallah. You must have the devil's own luck. <laughs> I like saying that. Uh, yay, we got our brother back. Elise, Leo, Camilla, Hinoka. Norian scum, first you kidnap him and now you lie to him? Abdallah is my brother, not yours. You are mistaken, Com Abdallah is my sweet little brother. You may not have him. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by their words. You belong with your true family in Hoshido. Come back. We have loved you and raised you since you were a child. Come home, little prince. We can live as a family once more. Come home to Hoshido, Abdallah. No, Abdallah, nor is your home. I love this cutscene right here, where they reach out their hand. They say, come join us. We're your family. Yes, it's true. It's such a hard decision. Like, even when I'm reading these dialogues, like, they're pulling at the heartstrings over here because, you know, all these people just, they just want me to come over there and, and be with them. But I can't. You know, I can't defend Hoshido, and I can't fight with Nor. So, you know what? I'm just gonna choose neither. That's what we're gonna do. Now, essentially, a Nintendo has planned the game out so that you essentially go through and play Birthright first, then Conquest, and then Revelation, because there are going to be heavy spoilers within Revelation if you did not go through and play the previous two versions. Now, I'm going to tell you right now that there are no major plot point spoilers in watching this episode, so don't worry about it. But if we watch the next episode, there may be some plot point spoilers, so keep that in mind. Make sure that you guys are watching all my playlists so you know exactly what's happening on each of them. So I'm pretty excited. It is not recommended to select this path for your first playthrough, the route that's best experienced after playing both Defend Hoshido and Fighting Norpaths. Is this still the path you choose? Yes, we are doing it. 
Hashtag revelation, baby. Let's go. I'm not going to choose either of them. Into the ground. Why is it called Into the Ground? Uh, I hope they don't, like, beat me into the ground. Uh, I won't betray anyone. I won't fight against the people of Nor after you cared for me all these years. You and Camilla, Leo, and Elise. We might not be related by blood, but you are family to me. You've been with me for as long as I can remember. Hmm. Well said, little prince. What ties us together is thicker than blood. What did you say? What are you saying, Abdallah? Would you discard your true family and side with those who stand against us? No. No. I refuse to fight against my Hoshin and siblings either. Ryoma, we might not have spent much time together, but you are my family too. Everyone. You, Hinoka, Takumi, Sakura. I don't want to fight with you on this or any other battlefield. That's true. We feel the same, Abdallah. Uh. But I can't side with either of you against the other. I cannot betray any of my family. Abdallah, what are you going to do then? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, both of you. Please, set your swords aside. I'm sure a peaceful solution exists. If we could just... Uh. I've heard enough. Abdallah, I can see what you're trying to accomplish here. As your older brother, however, it is my duty to teach you the truth. Not on my watch. Not while I still stand. Abdallah is finally back with his family, and I will not let you take him again. No, no wait, Xander, Ryoma. Silence. Don't think for a moment that I'll let you take Abdallah without a fight. It seems only right to cross swords with my opposing equal. As the heirs of our respective families, why don't you, why don't we settle this here and now? I welcome the challenge. Prepare yourself then. I will defeat you in defense of my kingdom and my brother. No. Please, both of you, stop. We can still talk this out instead. Ha! Ugh. 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 God, it's no use. They just won't listen to me. I'll have to step in if I want to stop them. How am I going to stop those two juggernauts? Are you kidding me? Abdallah will have to get their attention if we want to stop them from fighting. I have an idea. Why don't we attack the groups closest to us? If we defeat the leaders, Ryoma and Xander can't possibly ignore us. Hey! Whew, I made it in time. Lord Abdallah, I'm so glad you're safe. Felicia, what are you doing here? Uh, that's a fine greeting, and here I was panicking after we got separated. I spent all my time trying to figure out where you went. It took a while, but I finally caught up with you. I don't know what's going on, but you can count on me to help. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful to have you here. So, who exactly are we fighting? Everyone seems really worked up, but they don't look like they're our allies. Yeah. The short version is, we're up against the Hoshinan army and the Norian army right now. I've chosen not to side with either of them. Hi. You can't be serious. Two armies? What have you gotten yourself into, my lord? I suppose it doesn't matter. Your enemies are my enemies. I'll help you the best as I can. Defeat both bosses within five turns. Okay. Defeating both bosses. So, of course, we all know Felicia, the very awesome maid. Probably one of the best early on characters in the game, simply because she can heal and she can attack. We do have the songstress Azura over here that can grant us an extra space. And, of course, we've got two leaders over here. I mean, these, these leaders are nothing. Samurai, uh, level five. We got an Oni Savage level 5 and a Spear Fighter level 5. We've got, oh, a Xander in the back. Oh, they're just watching. Troubadour. Oh, man, these guys are just watching from the side. So these are their commanders. Okay, so these are Norian commanders. A Wyvern Rider. Okay, so these guys can just fly on over. There's a Dragon Vein. We got to kill these guys in five turns. This is going to be a piece of cake, these clowns over here. All right, so let's see. And then who's over here in the corner? Oh, it's our good friend, Team Hoshido. Oh, my good friends, Hinoka, Takumi, Ryoma, and Sakura. They're all here. They're just waiting. They're just waiting to see what happens. Okay, so let's look. Five turns to knock these guys out. I think that's going to be pretty simple. Heck, the... Oh my gosh, the Norian path in Conquest was... Oh my goodness, that was tough. I've never had a, a tougher challenge. But anyway, let's move on. So I can essentially move to this spot here. You can go over there. Yeah, here we go. So why don't we do this? I'm thinking we can go here. 
We're gonna wait. Who's gonna attack? You? Okay, you guys wanted to see the Dragonstone, right? Some of you guys wanted to see the Dragonstone. I'm not really a big fan of the Dragonstone. It's like a really strong move. But you get... Uh, you can't make follow-up attacks. And you lose a little bit of skill and speed. So they can easily double you if you're not careful. But we're only going to equip it for this one. Because a lot of you guys have wanted to see it. So here we go. Dragonstone. Alright, we're equipping it right here. We're gonna wait. Uh, I do want you to be here. We're going to wait right here. We're gonna bring you here. We might as well sing a song for you, Felicia, to gain a little bit more experience and go from there. Right. Look at all those army people in the back. Where are they all at? I only see like eight people on the battlefield. What is this? Six and the rest of them. Okay, so we're fine. We're gonna be right here. Uh, no one's in any harm besides myself. I'm baiting them out a little bit. So let's go. This guy's gonna come over here and get a taste of my Dragonstone. 20. Ooh, I need one more. We've got trouble. Boom. What? Oh, good. That was good. Boom. Oh, come on. Felicia, you're supposed to do some damage. You're supposed to do at least one damage. Okay. Okay. See, that's why Dragonstone's not that great, because you can't double on them. Uh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Uh, Felicia, what are you going to do? Are you going to do some work? I really don't want my guys to get rocked. Although, Songstress can... Azura can do some damage. Iron Axe. I think you can take one hit. I think... She can take one hit. This is kind of scary. I'm not gonna... Mm, I'm not gonna take any damage. See, there we go. Why did I use the Dragonstone? This guy would have been dead already. Alright, all you Dragonstone lovers out there who wanted me to use it. Alright. <laughs> okay, um... I guess... Or actually, how about this? I could attack him and kill him. But then I'm going to leave her wide open for these guys to attack her, and I don't want to do that. Alright, here we go. We're just going to attack this guy without the Dragonstone, with the Yato. Because the Yato is better than the Dragonstone. Dragonstone's garbage. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, we're going to actually sing here. Get you another turn. I can always count on you. Yes, it's true. I can always count on you. I'm gonna actually pair up with you. Because the last thing I want is for... I don't know. I gotta knock this commander out. What's gonna happen to you? No. Iron Naginata, Iron Katana. I can't hold on to three people. <laughs> this is like, it's so hard. All right, let's just hope they go for me. Okay, hold on. You can go. Worst things worse is our songstress can get rocked twice. She has 16. I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna have to see. Five turns is not an issue. We're gonna be okay. Come on. Abdel has defeated my forward commander. What is he up to? Does he really intend to fight against us? We can't even handle fighting on two fronts. Everyone, hold position. Thank you. 17 times two. And a 62%. Ooh, wow, he got me with it. Okay, thank you. I mean, it was not bad. 
please just attack me. Leave Azura alone. Even though Azura can handle her own. She does have the Naginata. And I got Dragon Fane. That's good. Please stop, stop. No! 4, 12! Oh, no! Come on. Come on, girlfriend. Oh! Okay. I could essentially... Let's do the battle forecast. I can kill this guy in one hit, take these two hits. I need her to run the heck away. You need... Yes, okay. All right, we got this. We've officially got this. Here we go. Watch, watch, watch. I'm going to attack this one. 17 times 2, 100%. Using the Dragon Stone at the beginning was really key to me almost losing this. Dragon Stone's trash. It really is. Alright, here we go. So now I'm going to get you the heck out of here. You're going to go wait in safety. Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! No! Azura! Oh! oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> We've got trouble. You won't stop me. <laughs> oh my gosh! I didn't know you have to kill the commanders. I thought I had to kill everyone. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. You have to beat the commanders? I thought you had to kill everyone. I could have just killed the stupid commanders. Screw that. Azura, I'm never going to allow that to happen to you again. Don't worry. It wasn't easy, but I think we got him to stop fighting. Oh, why, Abdallah? Why would you turn on us this way? I have the devil's own luck. That could be it. <laughs> Even if we aren't blood related, don't you feel any loyalty at all? Xander, I just want you to listen to what I'm saying. Abdallah, why would you betray Hoshido? Have you lost all sense of justice? No. You don't understand, Ryoma. I haven't betrayed you. No. I always thought of you as a brother. Damn it all. Spread the word among the troops. Abdallah has turned traitor. From this moment forth, he is our enemy and should be captured on sight. Why don't you listen to me? Abdallah, even now I still remember the agony I felt the day you were kidnapped. I know we can't get back the time we lost, but I still hope that someday we would be reunited as family. I see now that I was living a fantasy. Tell everyone Abdallah is truly lost to us. If he insists on becoming our enemy, then all we can do is fight him. Ryoma, I... Wait. Wait, Abdallah, nothing you say now will reach either of them. We need to retreat for now. We can't afford to be caught. Xander, Ryoma, I promise you'll understand one day. Okay, quickly run away so I can heal you and that's never going to happen again. Wow. Wow. Well, see, Azura has a very high luck stat. So maybe that's what played into part with that. Maybe. I was about to legit cry. I had my finger on the home button, and I was about to soft reset. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whew. We managed to escape, but I'm sure they're still on our trail. We can't leave things as they are now. We'll be branded traitors by both kingdoms. Listen, Listen to me. You lose everything if you don't choose a side. It's either Hoshido or Nor. No. No. There's a third option. I choose Settle It in Smash. I can choose not to support either side. But how? Yeah. I have family in Hoshido. I also have family in Nor. Even if I were to lose everything, even if all of them despise me, I can't choose to side with one against the other. I simply can't do that. I don't care if I lose everything. This is what I've decided. I see. I see. 
You have to be willing to risk a lot to accomplish something major. I suppose you're right. My own mother lost her life protecting Noor, but I don't think she's regretted her choice. She died to protect the one she loved. I've made up my mind as well. I will follow you down the path you've chosen. Azura. Azura. Thank you. Okay, now we get to see the custom intro. The custom made intro for Revelations. Wow. Huh. So, you know what? Here's what I'm kind of thinking. Maybe Azura is unkillable in the intro. Or at chapter 6. Because she has all that text and dialogue. What would happen if she wasn't there? Too close for comfort, man. In Fire Emblem Fates, we're playing on classic mode, where if one of your characters dies, they're gone forever. And trust me, we're not going to let any of our characters die. Ever. Wow. <sighs> okay, custom intro. Looks like the birthright intro. Oh, you get both of them. Cool. Awesome, you get both families in that little circular camera video angle. That's cool. Do I remember this? I don't remember that face. Breaking apart. Awesome. Awesome. This game, I'm telling you, this game is going to be the best game of all 2016 on 3DS. Just saying. Oh. Lilith, great timing. Eh? Huh? Wait, that's not our Lilith, is it? Yes. Actually, it is. What? So, uh, when did Lilith become uh, an adorable creature thing? Well. It's kind of a long story. I'll explain later. Come on, I want to show you something before we catch up with the others. <laughs> whoa, whoa, is that light? Hmm. I'll explain that later, too. Just just walk towards the light. You'll be fine. Getting a little deja vu here. Hmm. What just happened? And uh, where are we? I'm so sorry for frightening you, Felicia. Please allow me to explain. Okay, cool. So now, after we explained it... Oh, I see. My word. You two have been quite the busy bees. Lord of Dala, I know the choice you just made was a difficult one. From here on out, you and your allies will continue down your chosen path. I promise to do everything in my power to help you on your journey. As such, please feel free to use the astral plane to rest or prepare for battle. Thank you. Please tell me I have a peach orchard. I need peaches right now. It's RNG. It's full RNG on what kind of um, areas you get in your My Castle. Thank you, Lilith. Your kindness and support are very much appreciated. Oh, you're so very welcome. By the way, this place is filled with dragon veins. Long story short, you can use them to customize your castle as you see fit. Let's try that right now. I'll help. All right, so here's my path. There's, yep, here we go. We're saving over here. Ooh, it's, it's so exciting. Nine save files. Peaches, peaches. Oh, peaches! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, in the astral plane, you can use dragon vein power to create new buildings. Let me show you how. Please do. I've never built anything before. So select build, and we can build stuff. A staff store. A rod shop. A dawn and a dusk armory. This is so much better. This is so much better than the other paths. Are you kidding me? Here. Okay, dawn armory. No, actually, here. I'm actually curious. Give me a, a staff store. What's the difference between a rod and a staff? Got that staff store. Well done. Okay, here we go. Let me explore, please. I'm very curious now. Oh, nice. We got peaches, dude. Dude, we got peaches. Where are they? Peach Orchard! Yes, peaches! <laughs> 
Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. We got peaches, baby. This is good. I'll tell you all about the peaches later. We got emeralds. Cool. We got dairy. Cool. And we have private quarters and we got the coral spring. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Now, in Revelations, you get four of the resources over here. Uh, inside, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Peaches! Yes, yeah, so once we unlock the accessory shop, you can use peaches to buy the bath garments for everyone, which is pretty cool. You can get a nice towel that you can wear for everyone. That's just the coolest thing. It's the coolest little accessory that you can wear. It's the closest thing we'll get to, like, um, what is that summer scramble from Fire Emblem Awakening? It's the closest thing we'll get. Okay, good job, friends. Who wants to come into my private quarters with me? Who wants to come? Felicia? Oh, Azura. Fine. Let's do it. Come on in, Azura. Let's have a chat. Let's reminisce some more, Abdallah. I enjoy speaking with you. So now the private quarters, uh, as you can see, we got one heart over here. I have so many questions to ask you. See, we can, like, look up and down. That's really all you can do. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll chat. We'll chat. After all, it's just me and you against the world, Azura. Just saying. All right, so of course you can change your hairstyle. You can invite allies in there. You can talk to them. You're going to need to invite someone over into your private quarters at least 15 times in order to max out their hearts. Don't ask me what maxing out their hearts does because I haven't done that yet, but I know that it's like at least 15. So that's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to do that. And I don't really know who we're going to ship my main character with. I'm really up for suggestions. Uh, I'm really curious as to see what characters are going to come on board with our team. Maybe we'll just ship them with Azura because, you know what? Azura believed in me and now we're here. So that's it. Oh, let's take a look at some uh, uh, buildings. Yeah, of course. We're going to build the Abdallah statue. Pff, of course. Boom! And what the statues are, uh, in case you didn't know, it depends on how many kills your character gets. Um, a certain amount. You got bronze, silver, and gold incremental. So let's go to castle settings. We got, ooh, we can do wind tribe style. Oh, we've seen the Chavois, Chavois style. We've seen the Nestrian. We've seen the Norian. Have we seen the Norian? Or Izumite? Hoshidan style. Let's do the wind tribe style. Oh, that's cool. The wind tribe of the desert people. This is awesome. I like this a lot. That looks really cool. What do you guys think? Okay, let's try the other one. We have access to it, like pretty much all of them. Izumite. Okay, this is pretty cool. A little bit uh, grass in Fort Abdallah over here. We're gonna change that name, no worries. Uh, we're gonna go Norian style. We've seen this, haven't we? Yeah, this is kind of the same thing. Just got some trees. Got a couple barricaded walls. Not bad. Well, um... Uh, we've seen the Chevwa and we've seen the Nestrian on the ending of... Uh, what is that? Conquest? The first episode of Conquest? Yes. That seems pretty cool. And one more Nestrian. I like the Nestrian because of the water. That's what I really liked about this one. So that looks pretty easy. We won't go Nestrian because we've done that on our... Our other playthrough. So I'm kind of doing. I'm digging Wind Tribe. I'm really digging Wind Tribe with the, yeah, you know, with the sand everywhere. That's just really cool. And look, you can actually go out over here and like scout. How awesome is that? That's really cool. Oh yeah, we were gonna look in the staff store. I was kind of curious as to what what things you can buy. Okay. There goes that good freeze, that OP freeze that we needed the other day, right? No way. But here you go, you can buy all these things. Um, master seal, heart seal, partner seals. There's only like two, one, one, and one quantity of them. But other than that, these are all infinite, uh, minus the freeze and the concoctions. So that's pretty decent. We can just keep on building. Of course, we're gonna do that throughout the playthrough of the game. So uh, yeah, that is really going to be it. Um, yeah, that's it for part one. Uh, next battle is going to essentially be chapter seven. We open up the Dragon's Gate, of course. Chapter seven gonna be happening on the next episode. We could grind a little bit in the challenges if we wanted to. With our three people that we have here, we'll get them all rank A, get them all going. It's gonna be really fun. We're kind of lonely right now. We only have us three against the world. 
So, let me know who you guys like and let me know what you guys thought of this exact um, playthrough. It's going to be really fun. I need to make sure that I don't save over my other playthroughs. That's going to be bad. <laughs> All right, so pretty cool, pretty cool. That is Fire Emblem Fates Revelation, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the playthrough, by all means, click that like button and share the video with a friend so that more people can get all hyped up for Fire Emblem Fates. This game is amazing. Man, wow, forge your own way in Fire Emblem Fates Revelation, special edition. Please tell me you guys have these pre-ordered, right? You guys all have these pre-ordered? Uh, if you don't, you have a chance of winning one by sticking around uh, through the entire Let's Play. So it's going to be fun. I can't wait. Um, yeah, this is going to be really good. Wow, I don't want this to end. I don't want this to end. If you guys want to take a look at my other storylines that I'm playing through, you guys can click on the screen right over here, Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. You've got Conquest and, of course, Revelation. Shoutouts to all the Patreon supporters right over here. You guys are great. You, too, can become a Patreon supporter by heading on over to patreon.com slash Abdallah smash 026. But right now, it's Azura, Felicia, and I against the entire world. Hopefully we can change their minds and come to some sort of resolution between the fighting families. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. So stay tuned for even more Fire Emblem Fates. This is gonna be great. I wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you guys. Let me see a show of hands in the comment section who have seen all of my Birthright episodes all of my Fire Emblem Fates Conquest episodes, and if you guys are going to be staying with me to the very end, once we finish all three playthroughs. Let me know if that's going to be you. I really hope so. Make it happen. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out, and we'll talk to you guys on the next episode of Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. Don't forget to get the game. You can click on the link in the description. There's a link to buy it. Do it. And play along with me. It's going to be cool. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.